France's economic recovery doesn't appear to be on solid ground. GDP is stuck in a rut, unemployment is still high, and consumer confidence remains low. For Ducas Copy TV, I'm Sophia Aribo. With me to discuss how and why the French economy is at a standstill is Christian Schultz of Berenberg Bank. Christian, France has been referred to as the sick man of Europe. How much do you agree with this label? Well, we've been using this title for France, which of course has been used inflationary for many countries in, in the recent past. Uh, we have used this uh, for some years now. Uh, France may not be the sickest economy in Europe. Uh, the unemployment rate is not the highest and growth is not the lowest. But it is the one country which has problems and hasn't done anything about them yet. There have been no structural reforms, unlike in countries like Italy, Spain or others. And uh, also on the fiscal side, there is still a lot of adjustment to do. So France uh, deserves the title sick man of Europe. The government pledged to increase growth by 1% this year. How likely is this to happen? Well, growth will be higher this year than it was last year, uh, simply because last year was uh, extremely disappointing for France, but not just France, but the wider Eurozone uh, as a whole because of the Eurozone crisis. This year, uh, the Eurozone as a whole is uh, out of recession. Uh, many countries like Germany uh, and also Spain are growing at a fairly uh, nice pace already. Others are recovering, uh, like Italy, uh, even Greece, Portugal, Ireland, uh, the Netherlands, and so on. And because the rest of the Eurozone is growing, France will also be growing. But whether France can achieve a one percentage point increase in the growth rate, uh, that uh, we have doubts on, uh, because while France will be doing better because of the rest of the Eurozone doing better, its domestic economy is still in trouble, and that will prevent a bigger upswing in the French economy. Unemployment is still high in France, and the European Commission says it will reach 10.4% this year. Is there anything Francois Hollande can do to turn this around? There is a lot that the French president can and should do to turn things around because he has many examples of how to do it. Uh, in fact, he doesn't look, need to look far. Uh, pretty much across all borders, uh, he has examples of how to do it better. Uh, Germany had a big labor market reform in 2004. Its unemployment rate has been falling even throughout the Eurozone crisis and is reaching historic lows at the moment. Uh, in countries like uh, Spain uh, and some of the other crisis countries, unemployment, of course, rose during the Eurozone crisis. But since early last year, uh, it has peaked and it is falling now, something which hasn't happened uh, in France yet. Uh, and even in the UK, um, where the financial crisis and the real estate crisis um, were terrible in 2007-2008, uh, um, unemployment is falling sharply, um, something which has to do with flexible labour market as well. So there's many examples, um, and France just needs to follow suit and reform the labour market. And finally, there are still public sector workers in France asking for pay rises and higher public spending. Why do you think there's this disconnect between the reality of the country's economic situation and people's expectations? Well, what we've seen so far in terms of protests and strikes in France may only just be the beginning, because as the French government is preparing to um, cut taxes but also cut spending, um, there may be more to suffer for public sector workers, so uh, they'll have more reasons to protest. Uh, one of the problems of the French economy is that the public sector overall is way too large. In fact, uh, France spends, the French state spends more than any other government in the EU, 56% uh, of GDP at the moment. Uh, that is unsustainable, but it also means that public sector workers have a huge power in France because not only um, do they support uh, the workings of the government in general, but they're also a large group of voters. So uh, they've captured the government, uh, they are increasing their wages um, and reducing their working hours uh, at the expense of uh, other taxpayers. And that is a problem that uh, the, the government under Emmanuel Valls and, of course, the president, François Hollande, needs to tackle uh, and something that other governments before them should have done already. Thank you, Christian. Ben Jones will be looking at the interest rate decision in Brazil tomorrow. That's it for now. Goodbye.